Hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome back to a brand new video. As you can see, we are doing another fighter request. Today we are using Robert Whitaker in the middleweight division. He has been heavily, heavily, heavily requested. And I suspect it's because of his amazing performance against Jacare Souza, where he actually finished Jacare. I believe it TKO'd the man. Impressive fight, impressive performance, impressive finish. But right there, we are facing Damian Maya. Oh my god. Look who I am facing. Fuck. Now, if you don't know who this dude is, Big C, he is all about the grappling. He is not going to strike. He is not going to do anything but try to take me to the ground and get the submission. And I actually like this guy. I'm a big fan of his play style. He gives you that Damian Meyer style of play, especially when the fight goes to the ground. And his submissions are so good at the game. He, I think he has, he has almost 3,000 submission wins in the game, if you don't know. Uh, he's very good. It's pretty good um i know for a fact that if he does get the fight to the ground i will be tapped he has submitted me a few times in the game now so the goal is going to be to keep the fight on the feet as much as i possibly can but man this is a terrible matchup for me right now really bad matchup i'm gonna try to box as much as i can try to stay away from the clinch as much as i can and try to avoid that submission but let's do this thing let's do it all righty ladies and gentlemen here we go here we go i do like it when i run into an opponent with a very unique style you don't see that often in the game like he's not gonna try to just ground and pound and lay on you he's trying to submit you every chance he gets Boom, let's touch it up uh-huh let's do it let's do it mr big c uh-oh the way he's closing that distance is one of the very best brazilian jiu-jitsu artists to ever compete in mma he is a multiple time world oh he shoots right there that's what i mean the elite when it comes to jiu-jitsu he's gonna shoot right away oh he lands the roundhouse to the body hit him with the jab he shot right there with the single but doesn't get it Woo, shot again Let's get right back up. Right back up to his feet. Trying to grab the leg. Damn, I defended that. He, but he got it. Joe, you can hear Farasa Hobby in his corner telling him to stay busy. All right. He gets in a full guard here. Oh, he's punishing the body from the top. Nice elbow to the head by Riddick. Man, he's really doing some damage with those elbows. Oh. Now he's stacking him. Sub is coming. Oh, he connected with that right hand. Woo. Under three now. Immediately gets to side control. Nice body shot by Whitaker. Get right back to sprawl. Joe, he's showcasing some great movement on the ground. Half guard. Let's see if we can survive this ground game. He goes for it right away. Looks like he's hunting for an arm here. We survived. And he escaped the arm ball. Again. Trying to get control here. And he's free. Oof. Oh no. Survived it. We're up. Amazing stuff, dude. Incredible. Just scary on the ground. Scary on the ground. And he's going to lay there. Get him up, ref. <laughs> oh, my God. Like I said, man, it is submissions after submissions on the ground. I, it's, it's so, so interesting. Absolutely, Mike. 
Whew. He got me in the first round. He got me in the first round, man. I can't believe I was able to I was able to survive those those submission attempts. I think it's because I was switching it up. Usually I go left down left down left down, but I was I was also going up down up down and going left right. I was switching the thing up. Dude, I feel like it's a matter of time. I need to I need to beat him up on the feet and maybe rock him and finish him or something. I need to do something on the feet to get him out of there. He's good. I, dude, I love fights like this one. I am at the edge of my seat. Oh, 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 touch it up. Let's go. Look at that. Our, our, our stamina is still all the way high. He continues to show us why he has a UFC belt. He's been the better fighter thus far, but we've got a long way to go. You try to trip me now. That's next. Try to trip me to the ground. Straight punch. And he's looking for that left. Excellent head movement. That swelling on his eyes is really starting to get bad. Who got me there. Here we see the number of significant strikes landed. We're out. Whitaker's done an outstanding job. Survive that one. Strong jab by Maya. It's just it's it's the way he goes for it too. Lands a nice left. Good exchange between both these fighters. Quick slip of the left. And a nice jab. Missed. He slips the punch. Goes for it again. Oh, he tagged him with that straight. Very nice. Strong left by Whitaker. Dude, I am trying my best to. Oh, he got it. Wow. He got it. He got it. He got it. <laughs> Do you see, man? It is. It is hard to deal with. It's hard to deal with. For me to beat this dude, for me to beat him, one, I need a very, very powerful fighter. I need a fighter that's very powerful because I need to be able to rock him. I gotta be able to rock him with very few shots on the feet and get him out of there. Cause this is how he fights, man. He's tough to deal with, man. He's hard to deal. I honestly, I'd say he's the he's the most difficult opponent for me to deal with personally because you know it's easier for for me to deal with ground and pound because if you know if you if you hold me on the ground and you work the ground and pound, I can kind of find my way to get up. But he has gotten so good with submissions that he gets you to the ground like that and just go for the sub over and over again. It's only a matter of time before he gets it. Good job, dude. Good job. Did a great job. Let's get another one with Robert Whitaker. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Next fight of the day, we are facing Luke Rockhold. Luke Rockhold. Let's see how we do against Mr. Rockhold here. Okay. He's a southpaw. Hmm. Now, Robert Whitaker actually felt good in the first fight that I used him. So let's see what we can do against... Oh, shit. I get hit with a head kick right away. Looks like I'm facing a kicker. He's throwing that leg kick, too. Okay, when you're facing someone that's throwing the leg kick, you kind of have to try to get them out of there. Like, you can't just depend on trying to win a decision. Right away, I push forward. Alright. He is ripping that leg kick. All right. Nice block there, Joe. Wow. 
Man, Robert is losing st losing stamina very quickly nice though. Joey continues to keep his hands up. Doing an excellent job blocking here. Solid punch by Whitaker. He's finding his rhythm here early in the round. Good. Kick. Okay. Punishing roundhouse kick. I'm trying to stay as in nice tight to this dude as I can. Good defense. And he While also nice throwing defense. kicks to the body, but he's He's moving well, and I'm, I'm not able to catch up to him fast enough. He missed on that jab. Let's move this dude where I'm a little bit more comfortable. He moves into side control now. He's back up. All right. Nice jab. Oh, powerful right leg kick. Whitaker gets caught by a solid uppercut. As Joe, we can see the game. He keeps ripping that leg kick. That's what I'm saying. There's another nice kick. Very nice kicks here. He's doing a fantastic job of blocking shots. Oh, that's a great block to that big kick. He's digging into that leg kick. Great defense. It's okay. Good combinations. Very nice shots landing. He blocks the point. And connects with the jab. Solid leg kick by Rockhold. Nice There's that leg kick. Punch. Great exchanges. He blocks the kick. Nice uppercut. He's doing a really good job of timing these shots. All right. Let's just relax. Whitaker with a strong I'm not talking too much because I'm trying to really focus on this fight. He got tagged there. His left eye is closing up. Okay. The round is over. First round, pretty decent. He was able to throw those leg kicks and land it repeatedly. I need to finish him. I need to finish him. I've said that before. When you're facing an opponent that's throwing that leg kick repeatedly, you need to finish that fight. Because if you just, if you stay content with only staying on the outside, landing shots or whatever, I can't play my normal style against this opponent. I have to finish him. That's why I'm staying in his face, pushing the pace. What I'm doing right now is I'm trying to get him to work. The more he works, the more his stamina is going to go down, and there's going to be an opening there for me to rock him. I'm going to try to see if I can rock him with something. Once I rock him, I think I'm going to be able to get him out of there. So, let's let's go ahead and start the second round. It's going to be a three-round fight. I, I, I need to be urgent. I need to be very urgent so that I don't let this fight go to a decision. Again... Oh, shit. I was reckless. I didn't think he would react to it fast enough. Man, he really timed that sweep. He's in half time. Right hand. Knees are coming. Rock cold with the elbow from the okay. top. In half guard. Nice punch to the head from the top. Side what? Rock cold gets caught by the right. He lands a solid elbow. Another nice elbow by Rock cold. Sprawl, I'm just, I was trying to get myself, goes for a submission. Half guard, alright. Alright. Here we go. All right. Spent a little bit too much time on the ground there. Goes for that head kick. Nothing there. The movement, man. Rockhold is so much faster on the feet. I thought I rocked him. There we go. Bam. There we go. Fight is over. That is exactly what I wanted. Yep. 
cannot let a guy like that get away from you. You have to finish the fight. If there's anything that I can tell you guys, you know, I hear that that question all the time. Hey man, what do you do against someone that is throwing leg kicks repeatedly at you? Stay in their face. Stay in their face. Stay in their f If there's any time you want to stay as in tight as you possibly can, that's when you need to do it. Because he's not going to be comfortable enough throwing that leg kick if you're in his face constantly pushing him forward. You know, you have to be careful though because, you know, he, he might have some nasty hands and nasty punching techniques. But for the most part, stay in their face and try to finish the fight as fast as you can. That is what you need to do. That's how you need to beat these guys. I'm going to get one more fight with Robert Whitaker, and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, so next fight of the day is actually against Robbie Lawler. Robbie Lawler in the middleweight division. There's someone that you don't fight very often. Let's see how Robert Whitaker is actually going to deal against the Robbie Lawler straight punches. That's coming. It's definitely coming. Ooh, oh my God. He is ripping some shots. Okay, let's be careful because Robbie is very powerful, man. All right, let's, let's box. Let's see if we can box a little bit here. Okay, he's already ripping shots. Caught him with that one. He's moving his head really well. Caught him with that. We're going to try to use that jab step straight. Oh my goodness. These shots are nasty, dude. Another straight left by Law. These guys are going at it here right away. I need to stop this dude. He is being He's being pretty uh <laughs> He's got some confidence going. His confidence is growing, and when your confidence grows with Robbie Lawler, danger comes. All right, this is this is the usual martial mind here. Moving. He's trying to use head movement. Trying not to get hit. He's trying to get go for a, a clinch. It seems. I don't know why he would try to go for a clinch. Oh, that is what happens. Dude, I got overconfident. I thought he was, I thought he had no stamina and he landed one overhand shot and rocked me with Robbie. Oh, <laughs> dangerous, dude. I am nowhere near as dangerous as Robbie Lawler, even in the middleweight division. He's ripping it. Oh my god. Dude, these punches, dude. Ripping the uppercuts, though. Move. Man. Nothing there. He misses with the straight right. Solid straight right by Whitaker. God damn. Can't rip these shots with, Con with, with not Connor, with Robbie like this. And avoids the takedown attempt. Oh, that's a great block to the punch. There's the jab. Cut him with that uppercut as he was going for a takedown. I don't know why he wants to get a clincher. I guess he wants to get a takedown by the end of the round to steal the round. I don't know, but he rocked me. Dude rocked me. I am... Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. It's a good fight so far. It's a good fight so far against Mr. Robbie. The kicks, my kicks will make the fight easier, but I want to box. I really want to box. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. Gets caught by the left. Clinch. Come on, bro. That hook is blocked. Both men landing in that exchange. Joe, you can see the effects of those body shots. There's a I have a feeling this dude is not gonna be happy if I turn this into a grappling match. 
Something tells me. We go inside the numbers and we see the total strikes land. Nice roundhouse kick to the bottom. All right, caught him with that kick right there. Yeah, if I start kicking, this is gonna, this is this is gonna end brutally. He got tagged there. Robbie Lawler's got yep. the reach advantage in this one, but he hasn't used it effectively. Damn. He definitely could be doing a far better job of utilizing his. I mean, these punches, man. You cannot stand in front of Robbie. Even in the middleweight division. Okay. All right. He scores with the knee. He's doing a great job of timing these shots. Going again, a big knee. He's looking for the takedown. Nice movement on the ground. Just at the midway point of this fight. Waller gets caught with that left. Very nice ground and pound. He's staying busy. You want to grapple. Oh, good left hand. And he moves into the mount. Just over two on the clock. Big left punch. On a huge left. Oh, this might be the end. Whoa! Really? He is arm trapping everything. Excellent work from the bottom by Lawler. Right to half guard. Lawler's cut on his cheek is nasty. The doctor may need to take a look at this one. There he goes. Back to the mount again. Looking for the arm bar, looking for the finish. He's got the arm here. Now he's gonna throw his leg over. He pulled his arm out of it. Now he's in half guard. Good control, posture's up. Nice left by Whitaker. Hey man, I wanted a strike. You wanted to be in this world right here. All right, let's see if he goes for grappling again in, in the third round. Something tells me he won't. <laughs> Something tells me he's not going to. All right, let's get right back to the fight. Hopefully, I'm going to start kicking now. Okay, let's touch it up. Let's touch it up, baby. Oh, he landed that one clean. Okay. All right, time to... Start mixing in some kicks. Oh my goodness. I mean, look at these shots. You're becoming a little bit too... Again, another nice elbow. He's really doing a ton of damage. With that. Stuffed it. All right. Stuffed it. Let's get right back up to the feet. Back up. Let's get right back to fighting. Great left by Man, he's really mixing things up nicely, isn't he? He's being the way Robbie can chain the overhand into straights to the body is scary. Rips it again. See what I mean? The way he can chain overhands into straights to the body is impressive. Yeah. fight is done all right once i start ripping those body kicks man things just become pretty simple but that is it 
that is it with Robert Whitaker. That dude was bold. He was real bold. He was real bold just standing right there in front of me as I was blasting the body with those kicks. But that does it. What do I think about Robert Whitaker? I think he's dope. I really do think he's good. Um, I think he needs a little bit more power. I, I definitely think so. Um, the way he felt against D Damian Maya when I was landing those punches is not the way he was supposed to feel. Against Robbie Lawler, I kind of understand because Robbie is a powerful guy. But I feel, I do feel that Whitaker definitely needs an upgrade. He needs an upgrade in power and maybe a little bit more speed. Just a little bit more speed and he's gonna be just right where he needs to be as a character. But that is it, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section what you thought and I will see you very, very shortly. As always, thank you so much for watching, it means a lot. I'll see you very soon.